What's up people, I'm 2.0 again, here at Supernova Adelaide with the one, the only, the king of transforming Optimus Prime, Gary Chalk! Hi everybody, how are you doing? Now, welcome to Australia. Hey, thank you for having me. I gotta say, I, uh, I have uh, been to Australia a, a few times. But I'm so the... sorry. No, but I have relatives here actually. So, oh, but, <laughs> but it's a, I've never been to Adelaide and I've never been to Brisbane, so you could say this is the first time I've only been to Sydney. And, uh, Melbourne misses you. <laughs> and Melbourne missed me. Thanks, Melbourne. But uh, I'll, I'll, for 2014. Yes, I'll be there in, in 2014. But uh, so far I'm having a wonderful time. The people are great. And, uh, I'm falling in love with the place and it helps that my, my wife is sitting back at the hotel while well, now she's on the beach right now. She's going, can we live here? <laughs> and I'm going, well, it would be not, gosh, I'd love to live well, here. Well, I got a spare room. Yeah, house. well, there you go. We'll need that. Uh, no, I'd love to live here. I've got to tell you though, um, i got a massive guilty pleasure that you voice in. He Man and the Masters of the Universe. Like, yes. I used to love it as a kid and I still love it now, but just going back and watching so, it. So let's refresh the memories. You know, time travel is only make believe, but we can learn from the past. Oh, Until God. next time. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Flies back, flies back. Oh, I'm only five! Oh. <laughs> uh, but you were also Optimus Prime. Yes. What was it like playing the icon of all trucks that turn into massive robots? The, tr the pressure was phenomenal. No, my, I, I've got to be honest with you, when um, my only exposure to uh, the Transformers at that time, when I first got exposed to them, was back in the 80s. And uh, I was doing the uh, Transformers commercials for Hasbro. Okay. And I used to do the voice, you know, Transformers Generation 2, battery sold separately. You know, and, and I do all, the, all your latest action figures from Hasbro. And that was my only exposure to the Transformers because, well, I was in my in my 30s and uh, my toy collecting days were past me and at that time like Popeye was big when I was a kid <laughs> oh, <laughs> in black and white oh, wow. on TV you know that we got in the morning uh, so when I got uh, asked to come and audition for Optimus Prime I went well that's kind of cool I, I didn't really know much about it and but I got asked though Team Autobots or Team um Team Autobots. Decepticons. Decepticons. No, not Team Med Decepticons, Team Maximals. Yeah, 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 it's even better. There this you go. To break, the yeah. to, to, to break the fourth wall for a moment, Adam is our resident Transformers oh. nut. There you are, Transformers. Sorry, He was the monkey, bro. For me, he was an idiot. I was the monkey, the Maximal. And I like the Maximals because the Maximals were, well, the Maximals had a sense of humor. And they were kind of fun, and they they really made a lot of fun of the Decepticons because the Decepticons were a bunch of boobs. I mean, <laughs> really, Waspinator? No, yeah. everything happens to me. I'm going. Oh, come on. Chin up. Huh? Chin up. Yeah. Chin up, man Chin up, up, boy. Oh, I got blown up. But, drink uh, drink no. some concrete and harden up. But they had some wonderful characters. The, the, the Decepticons yeah. were so funny. Like uh, Black Arachnia and, and Tarantulas and all those, they were pretty funny. I mean, it's, but uh, our, our the the Decepticon, uh -huh. the Maxim the Maximals were were a lot of fun, and we had a good family league kind of relationship, and we all recorded together in the studio, so it made for a lot of uh, a lot of side humor and a lot of stuff that we wouldn't have got if we were recording in the booths by ourselves. Yeah. So, and a tremendous cast, of Ian Corlett, Scott McNeil, Jimmy Burns, um, uh, Venus Terzo, the most beautiful <laughs> woman in the world. Uh, if you ever see her, if you ever see a picture of Venus Terzo, you go, oh, no wonder they made her black arachnia, because she's absolutely drop-dead gorgeous. Okay. And uh, hopefully one day you'll get her down here, because she's just a wonderful woman. Get on it. And. Um, and so far, here at uh, Supercon, having a wonderful time. Come on down, you'll love it. And uh, if you don't, you'll miss out on a lot of people, a lot of fun, a lot of enjoyment. Some might even say it's super. Oh, dear. Don't 
My whole life, mate. I like that. This is my favorite comedian. He goes, if anybody walks up here and says I'm my own life, punch him in the face because they're an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think you broke Adam. Oh, I caught that. That's excellent. Yay! Cat rolls. You kept going, so I rolled it again. Catch on the flip side. Oh, <laughs> anyway. If I don't, Critter will kill me. Oh, you're fine. No, that was fine. Thank you very Good. much. Thank you for your time.